about a month and a half to two months ago, I put up a video called Automated Backups, Disk Images, My Complete Backup Solution. And I was just showing you how I do my nightly backups now, and it's still working great, by the way, but um, our space is getting a little limited here on my server, so, and uh, and it's not just from the backups. I, I put a lot of movies out there, a lot of music, and uh, um, all the videos that I do here for YouTube are also um, contributing to, all, to my space being... Uh, lower here but I'm going to show you kind of how Windows manages the backups they it actually creates backup sets and everything and what we're going to do is delete a couple of the old backup sets we may just delete one backup set right now because I still have a lot of room left but uh, so basically let's get right to it I'm going to go ahead and go to start since we're on Windows 7 I'm just going to type backup and backup and restore is going to come up here now you'll see here there's a little link down here says manage space and if we go in there then you get the manage windows backup disk space select how disk space is used by windows backup uh, you get a brief rundown of how you know your data file backup is taking up 188 gigs system image which I have a nightly image created every night just in case you know I can always just re-image the drive real quick if the drive goes bad or whatever throw a new drive in there um, other files there's 131 gigs free on the on the whole backup folder so what we're gonna do is you can free up this space by deleting data file backups now I wish this was a little bit more automated but I do kinda like the fact that I can manage it myself um, as far as deleting these sets and what what happens is okay so there's a backup period or backup set um, on 1026 the main backup was created and then um, it was like a differential backup since then till the fifth and a total of 50 gigs then I remember on on this day I remember going through my back uh, I went through my videos here in my local machine and I deleted a bunch of videos and a bunch of stuff so it freed up a bunch of space and then the next day it decided okay let's just we're gonna make keep that a backup set and we're gonna create a new backup set so here's another set right here now I don't know what changed or why Windows decided to do another backup set uh, this morning but um, I don't know I didn't make any drastic changes at least as far as file sizes go and folder sizes on this drive but so what we're gonna do is just we're, it's safe to delete backup sets because this already has the main back I mean it has your whole drive it has your whole um, it backed up everything tonight and tomorrow morning is when it does a backup, it's just gonna change. It's just gonna backup the stuff that's changed since this backup was created. So it's safe to go ahead and delete these. What we're gonna do is just go delete. Are you sure you want to delete this data file backup? Sure. I'll ignore that. I'm on call for work, so I have all my volumes turned up real high, so it'll wake me up in the middle of the night when I get a call. All right, backup has been deleted. So we're gonna close that, and I guess this didn't refresh. Oh, there it goes. It refreshed on its own. All right. So I'm going to close that. Let's close that. Then let's look at. Now it says uh, total backup size is only 250 gigs. So let's go in here. All right. We're up to eight, 182 gigs. So now I, I could safely, if I wanted to, delete that other backup set and get another 50 some odd gigs free. But I'm not going to do that right now. And then also, same thing with my wife's computer because... Um, Hers has created some backup sets as well, so I can just go on there and actually delete those. Now, if you really wanted to, you can probably script something on the server that um, would look at backup sets and say, "Hey, if there's if there's three folders within this folder, you know, delete the oldest one, you know, and you can have that run every month or something." But um, I kind of like to see it and. Uh, and uh, just in case because you may have deleted some files or something uh, since then and you wanted a file on that old backup set so but for the most part um, it does a pretty good job so that's that's how you can clear up some some space if you're running a backup setup like like I am um, of course there's many other options there's some free open source software and everything out there where you can have all this done for you but you know I don't know. I'm just using whatever's built in the Windows. The less third-party stuff I run, the better, I think. So, what do you guys use, or what do you think of the, this whole backup setup? Um, 
I'd like to hear from you. Post comments down below. Don't forget to like the video and uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed.